Okay, so I took two pills of anti-anxiety and I'm uh, just I'm just uh there is a reason for it, yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah, uh, just you know the polite way to say is it is dependency forming and the you know what you really should be taking, what, what you really should be telling people who take clonazepam when they're first on it is it's an addictive drug and you have to basically fight with all you have. It sounds dr dramatic, but uh, it's true. Um, basically, you have to fight with all you have to. Um, you know, I mean, on some level, they give it to you because you have a legitimate anxiety problem, and um, on some level, you have to make sure. Like usually, I don't even know, but like, it is used in the treatment of alcoholism, and uh, you know. Uh, Anyways, there's other uses, but yeah, so there's probably a reason they gave it to you, but you really have to fight to make sure you don't take too much. And you also have to be aware that if you take too little, you, you have to be aware if you take too little, it will uh, mess up your day. So it's a drug that it is you know, it's prescribed by the doctor. You could be paranoid and say like they're drug dealers, whatever. Um, or you could just say, you know, you just have to, it's something you have to control because Makes you happy, of course, and when something makes you happy, or when I suddenly realized the computer, uh, yes, the computer and the guitar make me happy, and maybe I should be aware of their addictive nature. But yeah, I just, I don't know, I'm freaked out by clonazepam. So I'm freaked out by it, and you know, gotta take it. They don't want you to quit. They don't want me to quit taking it, and I want to quit eventually. But on some level, I need it. But yeah, basically, you can to use consumer language as opposed to medical language. It is addictive, and you want to stay at a level where if you're not addicted and you know so they say take between two or four or write down my prescription says one and four so you have that flexibility and you know like when you're having a bad day you take four but if you stay at four it'll be less effective so if you have bad day after bad day or if you have three bad days and two good days but you're taking four all the time. So during the good days, you have to take less. During the bad days, you have to take more. And with, I just, you know, the concept, there's a concept called, called tapering when you're addicted to a drug, where you just reduce how much you're taking in by a small amount. So this is a very long-winded, like obviously I'm stupefied story. Um, but, uh, 
Shit. So I took two and taking two at 7.16 a.m. the clock, the 24-hour clonazepam clock resets at 8 a.m. I took two just to stay at the right level. <laughs> and, and yeah, I got to party. This guy, I don't know if I did all of the things on my chart. 
This is the simplest thing. 3, 5, 7, 9.
Okay, so I'm going to try that on the different guitar. But while we are here, some hard chip box. <laughs>
was fun. We had fun. Um, I'm glad I used the guitar. I have no regrets in using the guitar. In fact, well, just purely on an economic level, I want to use the guitar. Uh, but that's putting it rather basically. Uh, like, I pay for it, so I want to use it. Like, that sounds like I don't like it. I like the guitar, and I believe I've learned things like... I think the guitar that I have right now is actually, or was actually, rather expensive. And, um, you know, it's got all these knobs and stuff. So, the guitar I rented is a more simple guitar. Guitar, guitar, guitar. So, anyways, uh, it's... I think I'm learning from it, and I'm learning... Like, for example, specifically I'm thinking about the... Uh, the knobs, uh, the other guitar has two knobs, and they are quite obvious what they do. This one, the knobs always get turned, I don't know what happens. And this, I don't know if that's supposed to be there. Anyways, um, so, I don't really know what the knobs do on this guitar, but um, another thing is, I don't know if you care, um, so, you probably can't see, but this pick says 1.6. With that guitar over there, the strings that it has, you need the 1.6, which is actually probably one of the thickest picks I've ever used. Uh, this is 1.3, same brand obviously, slightly different color, so 1.6, 1.3, I don't, I don't know. They also have little things for your fingers to hold on to so they don't slip. I had these, uh, I got these 10 for a dollar, and, um, they're pretty good. Um, but, uh, like I was really, I got one of these at a local store of mine, and it was like the best pick I had, and, uh, this is another example of the best pick I had, and so... I couldn't get either this pick or that black one, and now I have this pick, and I have this one, which is the same but a different color, and uh, I don't know, I, I don't really, like, I was like, okay, so, like, like these are my picks, these are my favorite picks, at least it depends on the string, of course, um, the, the guitar strings. Uh, So anyways, these are my favorite picks, and uh, what was I saying? So when I had the first picks, like when I just got them individually, I'm like, oh wow, these are blowing me away. And right now they're just like, oh yeah, these are good. Um, these are better than the ones I had before, but it's not like blowing me away. But, uh, I just really creeped myself out by using the phrase blowing me away. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know, um, you're probably more creeped out than I am, and I am very creeped out, so, okay. So we got this guy in E, so let's at least do love song, well, I mean, okay, let's do uh, the perfect warm-up practice to love song which is this.
that white guitar over there and you're playing the B in this scale or whatever you call this. That's B major and when you're playing the scale, B major fits with the rest of the notes better. But with this guitar, B minor fits better. Yeah, so that's kind of interesting. Um, anyways, so... Uh,
Okay. Do you hear that hissing? Suddenly, okay. Else. Oh, there is brain stew. 
Oh, it left the end, but then we have to go back to drop key. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it loves to caged. Because we're useless trolls in the economy of fleshless liar. Um, Thank you.
So that is the A section, or the C section, I should say. Oh no, C section! Okay, uh, the C section of, uh, what should I call it, caged. And I could go through the whole thing, and if I were smart, if I were disciplined, if I were a good man who did good things for the world and brought peace and prosperity to the United Nations of America, of, uh, I would keep going with that. Um, so, the guy, when I rented the guitar, the guy offered me a strap, and, uh, Basically, I said, okay, I have two straps, so I don't really need a strap. I'm wondering if I can use this, but I don't think I can. But, uh, whatever. So, um, it should be fine without a strap, I hope. Um, I was trying, they were, yeah, okay, am I gonna talk, don't shit where you eat. Love the store and everything in it, and I was thinking of going there today. Okay. Rear. Rear. You seem very confused, Tuna. I don't know if it's D or A. Whatever. It's almost perfectly in tune according to the tuner. And I was like, dude, I could make it perfect. It would be awesome. But I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, three, five, seven, five.
Let's see if we can, okay, we'll start off with this arm.
just heard two calls for a moment. I never think of it, man. I'm all the way over my head. Oh, oh my dear. Oh my dear. Woo -hoo. Okay. I am a little boy. Obviously. Obviously, I'm a little boy. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Someone is coming to get me, and they'll take me away to the funny farm. Okay. Actually, the funny farm always sounded like it might be a fun place to be. I mean, funny is good, um, in my opinion, uh, I think. Unless someone's making a joke that, like, brutally assaults my ego and makes me feel horrible and uh, stays with me for days, but, uh, <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> yeah, we were, um, I don't think we've tried lithium yet, and yes, I took my lithium last night, I almost did not, but I woke up in the middle of the night, and I took my lithium, and I fell back asleep, and it was actually pretty good that that happened, so, Okay, let's do that before we leave lithium. But we just did drop B. Okay. Lithium it is. Where's our. Okay. So I am learning this, and this will probably be incredibly frustrating to watch because I don't know what I'm doing here. This is how we do the power chord version of that.
that's the first time I actually did that. So, um, la 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 la. You know, Ben, they're trying to hurt you, and if you don't fall away, fall, fall, fall away. We're going to do Losing My Religion, and I'm basing it off a website, and I don't know how. It's a very complicated song, so it's maybe, it's possibly the most advanced song I've tried to learn, and uh, I've been talking about it all week, and uh, anyways. <laughs>
excuse me for a moment. There's 12 minutes left in the battery life of such a camera such as, oh my, oh my, this is quite well drawn. Okay, I also need to urinate, but that's quite besides the point, if you ask me. Quite, quite, quite bad schedule. Oh, yes. Well, I'm going to be late, said the March Hare. Blessing. But first, you must do something for me.
and the key to the cage. Are you really letting me out of the cage? Oh. And you especially.